Hey guys, well, I got my greenhouse all done except for the floor. Let's go in and check it out. I am so happy it's done. Might not be. It's kind of bright and then cloudy, so. I think I got everything out here that I want to bring out here. Seems like this has taken me forever to do, but it's worth it. So over here, I'm not going to go through every single plant, but that's another little purple plant. And she got broken, so I stuck her in here to see if she grew it out. It's my anthurium, my vanda, that is my philodendron brandy some begonias. Oh, she keeps falling down because of the wind. I'm going to have to put a better tie around her before she gets broken. She is gorgeous. I love the back of her leaves. And then my vanda back there has some little succulents that my son gave me right there in that pot. This begonia isn't doing so good, but she'll straighten up. There's my big Nepenthes. She's almost touching the top of the greenhouse. Some more orchids. That's my Neophenicia Falcata. She's glad to be back outside. She's looking really good. This is my Anasman Dendrobium. It's not doing very well. I don't know why, but that's my Dendrobium Musicae. She's loving it out here. I brought my Philodendron Salome out here. And then that's my Scandaptus Pictus up there. Which, I can see that I'm probably going to have to move her. I do have all of my shade cloth up. But, I think last year I had this shade cloth over here. And that one over here. So, I might have to change that. Because that's a little more heavier. And, we get that south sun comes beating in. And, it'll be beaten down right in here until it gets over the house but there's my other begonia she's looking beautiful my little dendrobium cherry song in an air plant i've got my other beautiful orchids out here um this is my I forget which one this says. Kryptonite Parkside. She's got the beautiful, beautiful red blooms. And that's my basket orchid. Love her. And then I have my Jiminy Cricket orchid up here. Some more Oncidiums. 
That's my brass level. That's the only one I have. And then my little dendrobium, um, what, what adjust the eye. I love this plant. He gets all these little roots at the end. That's my dendrobium nobly. Uh, love memory fills. Then I have an anthurium back here. So I'm going to give to my daughter. And then boat in a cradle or Moses in a cradle, whatever you want to call it. My elephant foot variegated or elephant bush. I don't know exactly what it's called. And my other beautiful begonia. Look how big she is. She is like massive. And since I brought her out here in the greenhouse, she has just taken off. And I can't really tell if this is showing up or not, but then I have my um, Royal Queen Philodendron out here that I just got. She was the cutting. This is another Oncidium. That's my Catante. She's got some new growths on her. Pretty much all of my orchids all have new growths coming out. And then, no, this is my basket orchid. She was the one that got damaged by spider mites. See all the spider mite damage? But she's got her new growth coming out. Looks really good right here. And she's got another one right there. So... That's my, um, oh, I forgot. It's another orchid. I can't remember the name of her. And then I have my Tristata, I think she is called, orchid with some little air plants. I have my um, bird nest run down here. Look what happened to my Dracaena. I accidentally left her outside and she got cold, da cold damage. Here's another... Boy, this lighting is crazy. That's my Matrata orchid. I have my philodendron brazil tucked away down here. I got my shade cloth up right here because this is the southwest side of my greenhouse. And then my Ringo stylus doing really good. Everybody just got a nice soak today. The cat leos are all right here. They're all doing good. They all have new growths coming out. Really excited about that. That was just a new one. She's got all kinds of new growth coming out. And she got a sunburn. See her sunburn? Aww. That's so mean to her. And I've got a few cactus down here. And a big... This is my Calancho succulent. Another orchid cactus. That's my Thai plant that I propagated. This is my um, Lauder Bacchiana. This one here is my Alocasia Latribiana. I can't say it. But look at her beautiful stems. Anyways, my video keeps cutting out. That is my Faustio Giant Anthurium. I just moved her out here today and she's doing pretty good. I taped up her stems that were kind of bent and so far it seems to be working that is my philodendron bloody mary brought her out here my little dendrobium but that's it that's what i've got out here i still have to do my flooring but who knows if it will get done this year i don't know earlier these were I like to have them up there because it tells me if I'm getting air in here but 
There's a nice breeze coming in here, but it sure ain't making no noise. I love having my Salome out here. I hope she likes it out here. So yeah, that's it. That's what I got done. I think, um, I don't think I have any more plants to bring out here. All of my Phalaenopsis orchids I'm keeping in the house. I put them in a west window. And... Alright guys, I am going to let you go and I will talk to you later. Bye.